Now, the Golden Globes, yes. I saw some, and I saw a lot of this off air with, uh, uh, in the production time for the 7pm project, Ricky Gervais, who was a host. Who yes. is he? He created the original uh, British version of The Office. The Office. Now, he set out there to bag everybody. I don't mm. know how well it went down. Have a listen to some of it. I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going round that the only reason the Taurus was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Also not nominated, I love you Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist then. Congratulations to Hugh Hefner getting married at the age of 84 to 24-year-old beauty, Crystal Harris. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said because he lied about his age. <laughs> he told me he was 94. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's the... <laughs> Please welcome Ashton Kutcher's dad, Bruce Willis. Next up, Eva Longoria has the daunting task of introducing the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> That's nothing. I just had to help him off the toilet and pop his teeth in. The creator of Facebook, of course, Mark Zuckerberg, is reportedly worth $7 billion. Heather Mills calls him the one that got away. Many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic, and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. The next presenter is a true Hollywood icon. In 10 of the biggest blockbusters of all time, he has shown his extraordinary acting versatility. He has played a boxer and Rambo. Please welcome Sylvester Stallone. Our next presenters are young and thin, with the hair and teeth. They're lovely to look at, which is just as well because they're presenting the award for Best Foreign Language Film, a category that no one in America cares about. We recall back when Ricky Gervais was a slightly chubby but very kind co comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of which is he now.